New at six, following the mistrial in the Mark Howerton case, lawyers for the defense and the prosecution met privately with the jury. Howerton is facing murder, sexual assault, and kidnapping charges in the death of a Trinity University cheerleader. Paul Venema with a look at the post-trial meeting. After nine hours of deliberation over two days, the jury couldn't reach a unanimous verdict and a mistrial was declared in the Mark Howerton murder trial. I'm declaring a mistrial. We have every intention of going forward. Obviously, we're disappointed in, in the mistrial. By going forward, Gonzalez means retrying the case. It doesn't go away with a mistrial. It'll be tried again before another jury at a later date. Part of preparation for that new trial, the lawyers in this case met with the jury as they do with most cases if the jury's willing. We as lawyers learn a lot so that we can take that with us when we uh, prepare for trial the next time. You really want to learn their thought process. You want to learn from them what they believe was important, that the evidence that was compelling and, and maybe where you wasted their time. Those meetings often not only give them guidance, they sometimes produce surprises. It's amazing what juries will hang their hat on. Sometimes it's just about the presentation of the case. Sometimes it's about the personalities. Maybe they didn't like this witness. As for Howerton, he'll remain free on bond until another jury sits here tasked with deciding his case. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.